Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Donkey Kong 64, and I have no qualms with commentating through cutscenes with no voice acting. That's right, the only cutscene in the video game with voice acting was that opening scene, and they didn't even put subtitles in it. I guess they blew all of their budget on that. Anyway, as we enter each new area of the game, we're treated to cutscenes showing King K. Rool monitoring the Kong's progress and becoming increasingly more frustrated as they gather up all of the golden bananas. So here we are in the first proper level of the game, Jungle Japes. It's a jungle area, typical beginning area for any kind of Donkey Kong game. And here we have Squawks telling us to gather as many bananas as we can. There are 100 bananas for each Kong in each level, so that's a total of 500 regular bananas in each area. You only need 75 with each Kong in order to get one of the banana medals that Cranky mentioned earlier. However, I am going to go after all 100. I'm not sure if it actually counts towards percentage if you get all 100, but it's good to get them all anyway considering the fact that we're also going to need them to unlock um, the door to get to the boss of each area and as we progress through the game the paywall for that is going to increase exponentially classic enemy right there from donkey kong country the naughty it is a beaver they will bother us immensely later on in the game but they're pretty easy to dispatch all we have to do is do a regular attack while running toward them and they go down pretty you know fairly easily and of course, in this stage, we will be rescuing uh, the first of the Kongs, Diddy Kong. And it looks like there's a golden banana up there with him. Yeah, we've already established that. Anyway, there are 25 golden bananas hidden in each of the area, but each Kong can only access five of them. There's five playable Kongs in the game. We're only going to get Diddy Kong here in Jungle Japes for right now, so yeah, we are going to have to do a little bit of backtracking later on in the game coming back to older areas with, with uh, the other Kongs. Huh, I thought there was a golden banana up here. Oh well. Um, we'll find the rest of them. There's some over there. There's also a yellow balloon right there that we can't do anything about right now. But we will, soon enough, soon enough. And is there anything down here? Nope. Uh, I'm probably thinking of someone else. Anyway, once we climb up this vine, you can see Funky Kong set up shop there. But our point of interest for right now is this transporter with King K. Rool's face on it. It'll take us to the K. Rool Battle Arena when we stand on it and press the Z button. And first up, Beaver Brawl. And the objective here is pretty simple. Do not die. Do not fall off the edge. We have a certain amount of time. This is simply an endurance match. You don't have to beat a set amount of enemies. You just have to survive until the counter hits zero. They do get harder later on in the game, but for right now we have a pretty easy time dealing with nothing but naughties. And we're almost done here. You do want to be careful not to... Uh, fall off because he kind of has his momentum carrying him. Anyway, we got one of the crowns. There are, I believe, five in the game. Four of them mandatory, so you do have to collect at least four of them in order to beat the game. And here we have Funky's store. What kind of store is it? Why, well, it's a gun shop. Donkey Kong, like I said before, packs munitions in this game. All of the Kongs do, in fact. They get different kinds of guns with different kinds of ammo. Fun fact, originally, they were going to have real guns. Uh, some early screenshots, I think, in, uh, from the game's beta version actually shows Donkey Kong with a double-barreled shotgun, but they were afraid that, he was going, that the game was going to get um, a rating that they didn't want them to get, uh, mainly something above an E rating, which, yeah, they don't want because this game was supposed to be marketed towards children. So they... Uh, changed all of them into trees which were fashioned into weapons whatever the professor from Gil Gilligan's Island can turn a coconut into a nuclear reactor so I'm not going to strain my brain figuring out how 
funny though, he couldn't fix a patch he couldn't patch up a hole on a boat. Hmm. Anyway, we'll show off how to use these guns a little later. For right now, I just want to get up there towards Diddy. Let's see if there's anything useful up in this tree. Ah, a bunch of bananas. Those are worth five in this game. Banana bunches in Donkey Kong Country were worth ten. So that's something that's different here. Let's see if there's any more up here. Yes, there are. All right, let's go ahead and grab this golden banana. Yeah. yeah. All right, so he's hinting that we need Funky's help in order to get him out of here. As you can see, there's switches appearing in different locations with a coconut on them. That's because Donkey Kong's weapon is the coconut shooter. You know, from the DK rap at the very beginning of the game, which is a terrible, terrible song, and I love it. Anyway, there's Snide's HQ right there. We won't be worrying about that. To pull out a weapon, just hold down the Z button and press C left, and he'll just pull it out. You can press C up in order to go into first person mode. Uh, aim your targeting rectal with the analog stick. Sometimes it's a little bit sensitive, but if you hold down the Z button, you can actually uh, slow that down so it's a little easier to control. And then, of course, once you're done, you can simply press the pre hold down the Z button and press C left again to put the weapon away. Anyway, let's edge close to this cliff, pull out our coconut shooter, and shoot the first of the coconut switches. All right, and the next one, I believe, is right down here. Well, come on, camera. Work with me. Work with me. Yeah, sometimes the camera's not your best friend. Uh, putting it on follow like I did in the options at the beginning of the game does help. Anyway, slowly, there's number two. And before heading off to that third one, we'll go ahead and shoot this balloon right here. This yellow balloon, once we shoot it, oh, don't put it away, there we go. That actually gives us ten bananas for DK. And that third coconut switch is all the way on the other side over here. And are there yellow bananas up here for DK? I don't think so. Nope, nope, okay. That'll be for somebody else later on. And I thought I could make it. Couldn't, couldn't do it. All right, before hitting that switch, I want to swing across these vines. And grab five bananas right there. I'll discuss that portal with the hippo and the pig a little later. Let's, first of all, let's just go ahead and hit this last coconut switch. And that rescues Diddy Kong. So now we have another golden banana that we can run up there and grab. And when we switch to Diddy Kong, he will go after bananas and coins and balloons. Just like with Donkey Kong, except all of his will be red. We'll switch to him in a little bit. Um, he'll also have access to five bananas in this area, five golden bananas in this area that no other Kong will have access to. Five for each Kong. And the quickest way to get up there is to use this number two teleporter to banana port in the quotiest of quotations back up to where Diddy Kong was being held captive and we'll grab our next golden banana. Okay, so we have some access, we have access to some new areas, so I'm just going to take this number two banana porter all the way back down. And I'm going to go into this cave over here to show off a new MacGuffin that we're going to get in this game, something actually very important. I'm not 100% sure if getting all of these is required, but it certainly makes the last area of the game a whole lot easier. These are some tough enemies known as Cursed Splats, and if you get too close, they can smash the ground and cause a shockwave that'll get you. In the after defeating one of them, you get a piece of a blueprint. What is it for? We will find out later, but as you can see, that is a yellow one, and you can tell what Kersplat holds the corresponding blueprint by the color of their hair. We probably weren't up that close to that guy, but he had yellow hair, which means that he drops a yellow blueprint. 
you can probably guess that uh, the one that Diddy Kong is supposed to kill has red hair. In fact, there he is right there, so we'll get to him. I just want to grab this coin real quick and no, 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 would you, okay, there we go, whoo, all right. I didn't want to be too close to him, they hit hard. But then again, so does DK, as that unfortunate naughty there just found out the hard way. Anyway, another balloon right here. You gotta really look out for these things, because this game doesn't have the greatest draw distance in the world, in spite of utilizing the N64 expansion pack. Actually, uh, this game is only, only uses the N64 expansion pack because of a game-breaking glitch that occurs later on in the game. They didn't know where it came from. They didn't know uh, what was causing it. All they knew is that the N64 expansion pack actually is the only thing that fixes it. So they packaged it in with the game for free and it costed them a butt-ton of money. I think the only N64 game that requires this the expansion pack, simply because of how massive of a game it is, is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Anyway, we got a new potion from Cranky Kong here. We had to spend three coins on it. Uh, from this point forward, we'll actually be spending coins on all of our different power-ups. Uh, there's more than enough coins in the game to go around. I'm not going to go out of my way to hunt down every single coin in the game. But, you know, I know we're enough art aware. We'll never be hurting for money. Anyway, I don't think there's any golden ban or any bananas for DK up here. So we'll just go ahead and shoot this switch. Oh, and I'll be showing off that uh, new potion later. All it does is allow us to go into these uh, barrel cannon mini games that are in each stage. Wait, let's go ahead and grab these bananas and these coins right here. And when we jump into this crate, we transform into a familiar face, Rambi the Rhino. And he's awesome to run around as, and he's got some pretty bouncy, cool music. And uh, he's invincible. We can just ram into anything, kill it, just by running into it. So we run into these things and press the B button in order to break them apart. And as you can see, we're unlocking switches for the rest of the Kongs to use the Simeon Slam on later on in the game. And we can transform back into Donkey Kong by pressing, uh, by uh, holding down the Z button and pressing uh, left, uh, left C. But right here, we're going to hold down Z and press B in order to do his supercharged uh, charge maneuver. Can't remember exactly what it's called. And I think that's about all we can do with him. So I'm going to transform back into Donkey Kong. And only Donkey Kong can transform into Rambi. So you can't go into there as Diddy Kong. Um... It, it won't do anything. Okay, so DK has a switch around here somewhere. I'm going to look for that, and here it is, along with some bananas. Oh, banana. I love the voice clips in this game. Anyway, as you saw, pounding that switch with DK unlocked another golden banana for him. It's pretty easy to get to. Just take this number four banana porter, and you can't see it right now because, like I said, the game has poor draw distance. But all we have to do is swim across this river, and it is right here next to the banana porter. And I keep calling it a banana porter in spite of the fact that in the first episode I was complaining about them just attaching the word banana to it for no reason. Whatever. It's not like it doesn't roll off the tongue. Anyway, Cranky's new potion. What that allows us to do, once we swing on these vines over here, you'll see these pads with DK's face on it, and when we step on it and press Z, it launches us in the air for a barrel cannon minigame. And it's up here that we can find a whole variety of things for DK. Banana coins, uh, bananas, sometimes a golden banana, sometimes it'll just uh, ha be a way to unlock something else for us, but there always seems to be collectibles up here for DK. There we go, line it up, and okay, don't worry about that, we can actually come back here for a second chance, as many chances as we need, we're never locked out, but there is a golden banana right there for DK, I'm going to go back for that other banana. And that makes 100 bananas for Donkey Kong, 
and we're pretty much done with him. We have four of his golden bananas and his blueprint, which will help us get his fifth banana, but I'll deal, the, deal with the blueprints after uh, we get everything else that we can. I, I like to do all of the blueprints at once. But for right now, we are done with Donkey Kong in this stage, and we'll be moving on to Diddy Kong in gathering all of his collectibles in Jungle Japes. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good.